For the past 100 years, trichloroethylene has been used to decaffeinate coffee, degrease metal, and dry clean clothes. It contaminates the Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, 15 toxic Superfund sites in Silicon Valley, and up to one-third of groundwater in the U.S. It causes cancer, is linked to miscarriages and congenital heart disease, and is associated with a 500% increased risk of Parkinson's disease. A new paper in the Journal of Parkinson's Disease proposes that trichloroethylene may be an invisible cause of Parkinson's. Trichloroethylene use in the United States peaked in the 1970s, when more than 600 million pounds of the chemical, two pounds per American, were manufactured annually. Some 10 million Americans worked with the chemical or other similar industrial solvents. While domestic use has since fallen, trichloroethylene, or TCE, is still used for degreasing metal and spot dry cleaning in the US. The link between TCE and Parkinson's disease was first suggested in case studies more than 50 years ago. Since then, research in mice and rats has revealed that TCE readily enters the brain and body tissue, and at high doses, damages the energy-producing parts of cells known as mitochondria. In tests on animals, trichloroethylene causes the loss of dopamine-producing nerve cells which is a sign of Parkinson's disease in people. Individuals who worked directly with TCE have an elevated risk of developing Parkinson's. But millions more are exposed to the chemical without knowing it because of pollution in the air and contaminated groundwater. The chemical can contaminate soil and groundwater, leading to underground rivers, which can extend over long distances and migrate over time. One such plume associated with an aerospace company on Long Island, New York, is over four miles long and two miles wide, and has contaminated the drinking water of thousands. TCE can readily evaporate and enter people's homes, schools, and workplaces, often undetected. Today, millions of people who live, learn, and work near old dry cleaning, military, and industrial sites may be breathing in toxic air because of this vapor intrusion. The study's authors propose a series of actions to address the public health threat TCE poses. They note that contaminated sites can be successfully remediated, and indoor air exposure can be mitigated by vapor remediation systems similar to those used for radon. They say that more research is needed to find out how TCE causes Parkinson's disease and other diseases. The authors call for finally ending the use of these chemicals in the US. PCE is still widely used today in dry cleaning and TCE in vapor degreasing. Even though the EPA said in 2022 that chemicals like TCE pose an unreasonable risk to human health. The federal government has not yet banned the use.